हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज स्मृति शर्मा टुडे आई एम बैक विद द वीडियो वेयर वी वर गेटिंग प्रिपेयर्ड वेयर वेयर वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग यू फॉर द सेल्स फोर्स एसोसिएट सर्टिफिकेशन एंड आई हैव शेयर्ड अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस इन माय लास्ट वीडियो सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दैट वीडियो प्लीज गो to that video and just go through the questions and i will i am sure that you will be able to clear the examination just by going through that list of questions because uh, related to that questions or the same similar type of questions will be there in your certification examination so i think you will be prepared for that so let's go on from the next question where we have left in the previous section so let's go so next question is a salesforce associate wants to reorder items in the instance so the reports tab appears immediately after home what should the associate do to customize the items on the navigation bar bar so a salesforce associate wants to reorder items okay so what what should he do to customize the item so answer is select the personalized button pencil or icon pencil icon that click then click and drag the item named up or down to adjust its location so you can just use the personalized button for this work okay just remember this and i will be able to answer that some similar type of question will should come here next question a salesforce associate has received a request to create new users for or a group of new employees okay where can the associate check the number of licenses available to be assigned to the new employee so where can you check the uh, the number of licenses which has been assigned to your company okay that will be company information there you can check the sales uh, uh, the number of licenses Next question a salesforce associate wants a visual summary of opportunities in a list view the associate would like to summarize filter and move opportunities along the pipeline what should they do to meet this requirement answer for this is create an opportunity kanban view okay kanban view will help to summarize filter and move the opportunities okay uh, they can check there they can have a visual summary of all the opportunities basically in the kanban view so you can use a kanban view for this next question a salesforce associate is using global search to find a record but does not remember the exact name of the record they want to find to search for the record so what can they use okay so wildcard and operators can be used it is um, it, it will be able to uh, help us to search for the record not object manager not list view okay wildcards and operators next question salesforce associate recently relocated from get cloudy consulting san francisco office to its new london office the associate wants to change their personal work hours information in the salesforce org to reflect their new time zone which method is easiest to change these settings so where can you change these setting easiest way is my personal information there inside you will find a tab language and time zone from there you can just select a new working hours new time zone everything you can select there next question A salesforce associate wants to add a new related list of cases to account where should the associate go to add the related list to account so page layout will be the answer where the associate uh, should go uh, for the related list of the account from the page layout next question a sales rep at get cloudy consulting asked the new salesforce associate to give them a report showing all the active accounts for the sales rep territory okay so where uh, which report you can check or which tab you can check it's report tab where we you can check all the active accounts from that particular sales rep territory next question a salesforce associate is asked to review all the objects within their company instance they also need to identify which are custom objects where should the associate go to see this information so if if any salesforce associate want to review all the objects is which objects which are there in the company or which are there in the project what they can do is they can go to the app launcher and there they can identify that which are the custom objects with uh, uh, and uh, where are the information related to that next question where should field dependencies for an object be reviewed only from the app builder you can uh, you can see the field dependencies 
a salesforce associate is asked to review multiple reports from the current month's folder and bring insight into a meeting how should the associate locate all the reports in a single location from the report object okay so answer will be use the global search bar they can review the multiple reports from using the global search bar two users in the same opportunity record are seeing different fields what can be the reason the user are assigned different profile and the different page layouts that's why we are not able to see their fields a salesforce associate deletes an account of a company that recently went out of business okay this question we have already covered i think in the last section that any related opportunities will also be deleted automatically which tool creates a visual representation of objects and their relationship so yeah schema builder is the tool okay where we can see the visual representation of objects as well as what are their relationships i think this question also we have covered in the last uh session but still i can let you know that in in a team if uh, two marketing managers need the edit access then create a permission set that grants edit access to leads and assign it to the marketing team get cloudy consulting requires a value in the status field every time a record is created or edited what should they do to enforce this so what they can uh, do is that they can make the field as required in object manager that time it will be uh, every every time the record is created or edited the value will be there and it will be the mandatory field as well Salesforce associate has been asked to identify all contacts that have had interactions with the company in last year. What should the associate do to identify these contacts? Yeah, this question also we have covered. Look at the last related activity date. Approval process uh this also we have covered that we will be needing the approval process for the approval part of the manager to uh, apply the discount you can see in the last video this also we have covered this also we have covered uh, this also we have covered i think the repeated questions are here i'll let you know if i find any new question yes get cloudy consulting wants to simplify its sales team account record page with the following recommendation you can add tabs hiding components making field conditionally visible where should the gcc salesforce associated go to draft these changes for review where can he they go lightning app builder this is the one where we can add tabs hide the components as well as make field conditionally visible okay a salesforce associate at get cloudy consulting is working with a user to view multiple records and their related records on the same screen currently the user uses multiple browser tabs uh, currently he uses multiple browser tab but he wants to see multiple records and uh, on the same screen only okay which app should the associate recommend for the user to view multiple records and their related records on one screen so salesforce lightning console will be the answer Okay next question how can a user see only contacts from a specific city on new this week list view without ch changing that other user see so answer for this is clone the list view with a new name and filter by the specific city okay just remember this okay next question what is representation of an object a spreadsheet where the records are rows and fields are column yes this is the correct thing visual representation of an account no set of relationship obviously no yeah it is object is a spreadsheet where the records are rows and fields are the columns Now what is next question a salesforce associate is creating new user accounts for a new project management team what will be the role of each new team member obviously it will be developer okay next question a non profit organization wants to help ensure residents in their area receive health check 
checkups a non profit also wants to ensure resident tracking history and all data stored in a way that complies with local privacy laws with salesforce cloud solution should help meet these demand it is if you check this question it is related to health checkups the health related okay so health cloud is the one which is dealing with all the uh, health checkups health residents health patients okay and it is tracking the history of all the uh, what are the uh, what you say the appointments everything so health cloud is the answer for this uh okay gcc has recently been onboarded as a salesforce customer gcc wants to enroll its uh house it administration team in a salesforce instructor led training workshop which resources provides virtual and in person learning that should help the team accelerate their salesforce knowledge yeah again the trailhead academy so trailhead academy here will help you to find the resources for the virtual or in person training uh and so that you can get the salesforce knowledge you can enhance the salesforce knowledge we have videos we have sessions we have ex, uh, like playground sessions everything is there so trailhead academy is the answer for this get cloudy consulting wants to evaluate a new feature that requires a specific license before purchasing so which environment should they use obviously developer org This is the question we have already discussed that trailblazer community groups will help us to network the people on different locations the health department next question the health department wants to gain more insight into its patient data than what salesforce dashboard can provide which salesforce product should the department use they should use crm analytics okay the health department Uh, this is not the important question i think okay get cloudy consulting wants the ability to send a predefined sequence of scheduled messages to prospective customer track messages that get the best open and response rate send customized messages to existing customer information them for new product and discount with salesforce cloud solution allow gcc to meet this requirement obviously marketing cloud marketing cloud has these features where they can send the messages where they can track the messages where they can send the customized messages all is leading with the marketing cloud i think this also we have done that allow additional field level access is the permission sets okay we have already discussed that if we have the same profile and if you want to give one person some additional accesses additional field level access we can use the permission sets currently tracking forecasting and revenue data in spreadsheet and wants migrate this data to salesforce so sales cloud is the one which is currently uh, tracking the forecast as well as all type of revenue data in a sales team so sales cloud is the answer for this next question get cloudy consulting wants to confirm the data type of the account sold feed on account object why which editing the account the account sources field has several predefined values that can be selected what type of field is the account source account source field is the picklist type of field okay it is just asking that what type of field is the account source next question a salesforce associate has been tasked with creating new fields on the contact object and determine what type of field we used for each type where should the associate go to understand the difference between the data types so salesforce can uh, the associate can go to salesforce help so that he can get to know the differences between the different type of data types because salesforce has all the help has all the information related to this okay which action must be taken for salesforce update if you want to update this uh, salesforce what action should be take updates are automatic nothing needs to be downloaded or installed here in salesforce the updates are automatic you don't need to download or install anything okay it's just the version wise the updates are coming and they are making the automatic updates okay so these all i think i have given you a list of questions uh, you can check the both the videos and prepare yourself for the certification
uh, and I think you will be able to clear it once you are uh, ready with these questions, uh, ready with these type of questions. You can either download it or you can just view one or two times my video and I think you will be ready. So you don't need to worry so much. So all the best for your certification examination and uh, I think you will be doing a good job. So please let me know once you clear your Salesforce Associate certification. I will be really happy if I am uh i have helped you guys and so i would like to know once you are clearing the examination so please do let me know in the comment section uh and if you are facing any of the problems just let me know on the comment section i can make a video on that or i can explain you in the back uh, that from next sessions we will be going again to the admin topics uh so uh, if you like this video please like it uh, and obviously subscribe the channel and do comment it for any of the issues you are facing and also click on the bell icon so that you get to know each time i'm creating a new video you just get to know uh, immediately and you will be able to see it you will be get the knowledge if you want video on the specific topic so please let me know i'll try to make a video out of that uh, till then thank you so much